In today's electronic project, we're going to build a very simple but fascinating blinking LED circuit using just a few common components. The heart of this project is a BC547 transistor. First, I'll take the collector pin of the transistor and apply a small amount of solder to it. Next, I'll pick up a yellow LED. I'll carefully solder the positive pin or anode of the LED to the collector pin of the transistor. By doing this, the transistor will control when the LED lights up or blinks, since the current through the LED will depend on how the transistor switches. Now we'll bring in a 680 microfarad electrolytic capacitor. This capacitor plays a critical role because it charges and discharges in cycles, which is what makes our LED blink instead of glowing steadily. I'll solder the positive pin of the capacitor directly to the emitter pin of the transistor. After that, I'll connect the negative pin of the capacitor to the negative pin of the LED. This arrangement creates a timing loop between the LED, capacitor, and transistor. After that, I'll move back to the emitter pin of the transistor and apply a little solder there. To this point, I'll solder a 1 kilo ohm resistor. This resistor is very important. It controls the amount of current flowing through the circuit and protects the transistor and LED from excessive current that could damage them. Without the resistor, the LED might burn out or the transistor could overheat. Now comes the power source. For this project, we'll connect a 16 volt battery. It's very important to use the right battery voltage because the circuit is designed to work with this level. We'll connect the positive terminal of the battery to the emitter pin of the transistor and the negative terminal of the battery to the negative pin of the LED. The moment the power is applied, you'll see the LED begin to blink in a steady rhythm. And here's something to keep in mind. If you try to run this same circuit with a 12 volt battery, it simply won't work properly. The capacitor won't charge and discharge at the correct levels, and the transistor won't switch as expected. That's why using a 16 volt battery is mandatory for this particular project. 